you have you to be got your esports and gaming hot topics, hot opinions, and the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Brody Moore, and producer Tyler's got two minutes on the board of topics to be discussed at the bottom of your screen. At any point in time, when one of us gets uh, out of line, we can mute each other for 30 seconds. With this Yo, button right here. Brody Moore is coming in with some gusto today. Listen, there's a mute button here. Yes, as Brody said, we're gonna put I'm gonna put you guys out of your misery with him. Don't worry, but okay. we like it when chat plays along. So uh, you know, give us the old what for. Call us out. We can take it. Our first story is in the Overwatch League because it's taking a page from the sports sports in newest partnership. The OWL announced this week that it would be partnering with Upper Deck to create trading cards for the league. The first set of cards comes out next month and will feature fan favorite players and teams from the first season. In addition, Upper Deck will create rare cards that have players' autographs on them, as well as stickers, posters, and other memorabilia for the league. So, Brody, esports trading cards, I mean, doesn't it make sense? This sounds like the greatest idea I've ever heard. Oh. I really like this idea. Trading cards are everything I've ever looked forward to when it comes to esports. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yo, you need to chill your actual blood. Oh, wait, listen. was there some sarcasm overtones there? Let me tell like you. Like heavy, heavy? Let me tell you about this upper deck scene, all right? Do, all you, right. Even know what Rippin, do you even know what Rippin' Packs is about? Do you know anything about Rippin' Packs? Every Friday, go into, the, go into the store, get in a little tin, open it up, Rippin' Packs, hoping you get somebody's rookie card. It's very exciting stuff. So, if they can reach this new audience in esports, why not try? I, so uh, the sarcasm aside, it's just, it's not a thing really for me. While I do agree, it actually is kind of cool to have the ability to like, imagine, I'm thinking, I'm relating it to my sport, Rocket League, of course. Um, I love that you said <laughs> my it's e my rock, it's it's my It's my Rocket League. The, uh, no, it'd be cool to kind of have like a, a, like a stats card of like Cooksey or Cronovi and or just have more. like, you know, season stats or whatever. I don't think I would get a card. But, <laughs> It would be really cool. It would be cool to have those, and um, I, I think some are like autographed as well. Yeah. To be rare. I just said that. Okay, I kind of get it. I uh, probably won't be collecting them, to be honest, but I, I do see how a lot of people could really enjoy this because I still have all my old Pokemon cards. So I kind of get it. Just saying. Yeah, I mean, there's something to be said about that tactile, like something to hold in your hand that is related to this thing mm -hmm. you love so much. There's still something there, right? And also, yeah, you got to get into the whole rip and packs thing. So much fun. People that love hockey, just the boys that I know are all about rip and packs. It's very fun. <laughs> Stop I had, saying that. It's, it's so weird. That's what you say, you rip and packs. Uh, no, but I also had my own upper deck card made when I did some work with it at the NHL. And it was the sweetest thing ever. I had my stats in the back. Yo, it was too big to bring on the plane because they blew it up, but like forever in my heart, like the, those are just mems. This is just things like souvenirs, what man. Would it, what These would are it, souvenirs. What would it say on a Marissa card? Top tier. <laughs> Top tier. Clash player. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there's only one minor and major tournament left in the current Dota 2 season, but that's not stopping Valve from making a big rule change. All season long, only one team from each minor could advance to the major. Now, Two teams will advance from the Star Ladder Ukraine Minor to the Epicenter Major. Mm -hmm. The change was made to give more teams from Europe and China a shot at making the Major since they are the two regions with the most teams in qualifiers. Mm -hmm. Now here's where it gets a bit iffy because if I'm someone that played in an earlier Minor mm -hmm. and I was in second place and didn't make it through, I might be a little salty. Yeah. Do you think it's a little weird that they're introducing this like in the middle of this whole season? I I don't understand this. I don't get it at all. Why <laughs> is this happening? Like it does it, They need they want to give more chances to those regions and those miners for people to qualify. Okay. But there have already been tournaments happening where it was only first place. Only the first made it through. Yeah. So now if you were in second place, would you not be salty that now suddenly this rule gets introduced? Like, should Valve not have waited till next year, till next season, to, to do uh, this? Yeah, for sure. The second place teams across the board absolutely getting super pissed. I would be very upset. Um, or do you just suck it up as a player? Like, you have to suck it up. As a professional, you have to suck it up and just deal with whatever it is the publisher decides to implement in their in their seasons. But like, should you have, you have to? to? Like, it's, well, you, it what doesn't is he going to do? You want to play this game. You, you, wanna, you have to play by their rules. put your voice out there and you tell them, hey, man, stop doing this. This is kind of not cool. This is yeah. rude, dude. Yeah, cool. So everybody that plays Fortnite often expresses themselves yeah, on Twitter as well. And has example. that helped? I, uh, no, no, yeah. not really. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I tried okay. to think of an example that it might have. No. Not, not really. But, not at all. But Epic seems like they might 
care a little bit less than Valve. Like Valve cares a little bit more, um, from what I see, about uh, competitive integrity. Oops, no, I don't think that's the case. Than, than what Epic. I, e Epic think has made, I think it's the opposite. Epic I think has Epic made it very clear that Fortnite Whoa. is, their esports scene is a marketing stunt. It is just about marketing. They don't, it's not, they don't care about the competitive integrity as so, much so as So wait, well. then this will lead into Rocket League. Hmm? No, it, no, there are just different approaches. Fortnite, Battle Royals in general are just not good when it comes to esports. It's really hard. It's better to watch a streamer do their thing. Uh -huh. the, the, the way off track here. The no, point no, is I, that like, Valve... I like see watching Brody maybe dig himself a hole with his new owners, <laughs> his new overlord. I'm not owned by I, anybody. <laughs> I am not owned by anybody but myself. And me. Now let's move on. In League of Legends, Riot Games release a number of free cosmetics to celebrate the mid-season invitational. The problem is that one of the free finishers is reported to trigger seizures in players with photosensitive epilepsy. That sucks, but Riot's response was actually worse. When a player asked that a toggle be added to turn off the effect, a rioter said that the team had debated adding a toggle before the finisher was released, but decided to gain it even though they knew it was an issue. Whoa, Brody, so, should Riot have not taken the time and added a toggler? I mean, you need to eat a toggle. You got a toggle? It sounds to me like Riot just wants to keep digging themselves holes here. Uh, like they, they just do not have a, a good PR string going on at yeah. the moment. Like you, you knew this could be causing harm to someone and you still decide to be like, Nah, let's put it in and see if something happens. Well, like, you, you can, triggering epilepsy is a serious thing. Yeah, that definitely. Can, that can kill people. For sure. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, I think, again, when it comes to a big company, um, it's more about the masses pleasing the masses than um, a small minority of people that may suffer. So, um, which obviously is very upsetting because this is a running theme now with Riot, is pleasing the masses and maybe not so much the minorities that happen to be working within their building. Um, she has fired. But uh, I just don't know why, I like maybe that being put into place would maybe make something happen in game, like there, it might trigger some other things, like maybe they just haven't figured out the system yet, the algorithm to make that work and also work in game. Maybe maybe it was just like a really a really weird way of diverting attention, attention. away from all their other issues in-house. We're like, yo, we're actually just killing people, it's okay. There's no uh, sexual harassment going on. <laughs> I, I, it's a bad decision, but maybe that was their plan. I mean, that, ooh, that is breaching. <laughs> like, that is a stretch and that a is, deep That is reach. half of my arguments. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that is the case, but I still don't get why. Like, maybe, it, can, can somebody at Riot or a rioter maybe just explain a little further, like why? Because they said they thought about it, but then didn't do it. Okay, but what was the reason? Yeah, there you had can't to have just leave meeting. it there. You got yeah, <laughs> there had to have been a meeting that took place, because if they thought about it, I mean, it's on a board somewhere. Somebody brought it up. Somebody it's on had a whiteboard. Took, it's on a whiteboard somewhere, right? Maybe the janitor came by and erased it, and that's oh. why they didn't put it. <laughs> add toggle, and he came by and bumped into it, and now it's not there, and that's no. why people are having seizures. That makes me sad. I don't want people to be sick or have seizures. <laughs> I don't think most people do, except Riot, apparently. Oh. Anyways. I'd like to start off our last story by saying happy birthday to Discord! The gaming chat platform is celebrating its fourth anniversary this week, and the company announced just how big it has gotten in that short span of time. Over 250 million users are registered on Discord, with 56 million active users every month. Discord launched a storefront and a subscription service last year, and is currently valued at over 150 million US dollars. Mm. Uh, that's honestly surprising. I, I would have valued them a bit higher than that. Uh, in point. my eyes, like I feel like Discord is the next big thing. Like it, it is here to stay. It is not going anywhere. I really don't see how they could ruin this platform oh in any way. P.S. Join our Discord. You can, <laughs> you can find it. Exclamation point! Discord in chat. Yeah, that what what he said. <laughs> you ruined it. You ruined it. I was saying it, Brody Moore. Uh, yes, no, it's very exciting. I feel guilty. I have guilt because I have Discord. I do not utilize the platform as I should. And I rarely check into our Discord that I just plugged to you, by the way. And I need to. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess explain to people that don't use Discord, why is this platform so important and why should more Discord people is, jump in? Discord is so cool because it, it, it gives you the ability to create a hub, not only just for all your games, adding the dashboard and, and adding a store, mm -hmm. but it gives you a hub for a community. Mm -hmm. like like before you had like TeamSpeak, sure there were a lot of people on TeamSpeak and that, but like you had to have the server info, you gotta pay for it. This is free, that's mm -hmm. what's really important about it. Uh, but it creates a hub where you can create 
you know, I have a LeafX Discord, we have a Squad Discord, you can have uh, an MROB Discord where you can have text channels, people can talk about whatever they want. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a dank meme section so they yeah, just yeah. people just spam memes in there. Okay. Whether I check it or not, it's up to them, but it keeps them active, it keeps people in tune with what's going on with me, I can post announcements, um, and you can have voice channels, which is sick. It's all in one yeah, and it's yeah. free. And yeah. it just like, like there's no reason to use any other voice thing right now because it's gotten super good. Like there's no reason to use like Skype, TeamSpeak, any of those anymore. Okay, so this would... And like, they have video chat now. I would use this for, like, I wanted to create a, my own Discord channel for people that follow me, like, say, on Twitter or whatever. Yeah, you can create a hub then, for Marissa. Wait, okay, and then people won't DM me, like, hey. Well, they, that, they'll probably... St it's just, hey. Why are you why are you DM sliding me just saying hey like what do you want me to say to that like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna accept you into my inbox and then all of a sudden you can just spam photos of stuff that maybe I don't want to see I feel like it's a trigger what, I don't know what if well you'll be a little more ex it's harder because with a Discord though if those people are in there then they can just message yeah right so but, I don't know I gotta, I gotta think about it <laughs> hey. I gotta think about it. Hey, 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 it's time to check out <laughs> what the streamers are up to with Clip It. Our first clip comes from Rage 2, where King Goth the Lion found two NPCs playing a rather peculiar game. Jesus, dude! <laughs> are these guys playing old slap ass? <laughs> <laughs> I do like to play slap ass on my off time. I mean, I guess the wasteland would be pretty devoid of entertainment, but um, I don't know of this particular game, and I'm not sure if I would choose slap ass as my game of choice. You know what? I mean, Riot's been choosing that as their game mode of choice. Oh my god. Yo, <laughs> shut Sean fired! So many Kappas in chat right now. Brody Moore. But, but for real, I probably will start playing this game with my friends soon. This seems like a really fun game. Really you have to make sure that you're playing with friends that you know, though. Do not go play this with strangers. You might get in trouble. I Well, no, the, no, play with strangers. Okay, yeah. No? Nope. Just run up and slap some ass. No, I just mean the game itself, not slap oh, ass. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, no, play Rage. That's okay. fine. Don't play slap ass. Okay. Next up, <laughs> one of Aries viewers asked him how much he pays his moderator team. Mm. How much do you pay your mods? Asking for a friend. I don't pay them. I pay them in, you know, wisdom and entertainment. Are you supposed to pay your mods? <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to pay your mods. If they were getting paid, look, if you're supposed to pay your mods, then I think my mods owe me money for how a job they do. Right? I'm pretty sure they owe me. Are you kidding me, dude? Feel like I have to babysit them. Hey, you go, you mods owe me some money. You probably cost me so many true fans over the years. You know how many people you have probably turned off of my stream and sent to Reddit because you guys are sensitive little bitches? You want me to pay these clowns? Come on. That's how I feel about our mod team. Wait, are you a part of that mod team? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. The, That's it's, so crazy. It's a real talk though. But the, the thing is like, for the most part, in, in depending on how big you are. Now, if I was as big as, as Ninja, I would actually probably have one or two mods that I do throw oh, some bucks their yeah. way to make sure that they're they're in there, they're full time, they can do that yeah. as their job so that I, I can have, I don't have to pay attention. Because that like when you're at that level, that yeah. is hard to pay attention. You're, you cannot mod that yourself. And if people come in and start, you know, like raids come in and start screwing yeah. with stuff, you need people to take care of that quick. Um, yeah, so I, I would do it at that level because you can afford it for sure. But for most people, it's like, they're just like your friends or like your, you know, whoever's in there the most. You're like, yeah, I'll give you a sword. I'll give you a sword. At times, my chat's just a uh, mod wall. It's just Wait, swords the whole way down. Can I have a sword? In my chat? Yeah. No, you would probably start banning everyone. No, I wouldn't. I actually had a battle of my mods banning people each really? other before. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Why would I pay them? <laughs> No, no, I want a sword in your chat, and I want a sword in squad chat. We should probably take away any swords that she comes near. Oh my goodness, listen, it truly is the best time of day where we scroll through the Twitters to bring you all the things the pros bless us with on their timeline. I love me some potty talk, so you can imagine my delight when Shox tweeted this little DM snap. She says, I post what I want, 
with a snap of someone saying, I'm pretty sure we don't need to know what you poop when you're sick. Her reply, are you sure? It's very runny still at the moment, but I'm hoping to develop more firmness in the next few days. That is probably the best response. Uh, Way to go, yeah, Shox. <laughs> for sure. That's what you get for telling Shox how to act, BT dubs. Um, but how does Brody respond to somebody telling him how to act in his tweets? Um, mute me, unfollow me. You don't have to. It's. I mean, if you're following me, it means you want to see it. Okay. I don't know right. why you're following me in the first place. But thank you. <laughs> but unfollow me if you don't want to see it. Oh, really? I just get into fights. Like I love. Do you? I no, I try to make. Into fights. I try to make every enemy my friend. Like real talk. Yeah, like, that's what I mean. I, I fight with them until they realize I'm right, so they have to oh, like me. See, I don't fight. I just like I try to be as nice as possible because I need more followers. Oh my God! No, you no, you can't pander to them. You ha you're nice, yes. but also while teaching them a lesson. Listen, I, I we mean, approach I'm the also, situation way different. I handle it the same way that Shocks would handle it. I would be that way too, but I'd still try to develop a friendship there as well. Like, don't, you don't, we don't need to hate each other, but just understand. Like, I'm gonna tweet what I want. This is why you follow me. If you don't, like, it's okay. But I will be talking about poop at any given time. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just a nice guy. You're, it's not, just who I am. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyway, speaking of haters, our next profound thought is from full-time streamer and PUBG Pro Andy Pyro with a sub tweety reflective message. Mm. Well, I'm glad my viewers are getting the content they deserve. You know me, lads. No matter how much you try to please everyone, it's going to work in a long run, and I got to start being more numb about the people who want to <laughs> see me fall. F them. <laughs> Feels bad, but F them. Good night. Had fun. First off, <laughs> there was so much flip-flopping in that. It, like, a lot of back and forth. Obviously, he got triggered by something. Yeah, that was it, hard to read, by I the way. Know. I know. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Because it's, it's true. Like, we, I do want to correct grammar sometimes when we have to read these tweets, but we can't because we, we have to read it verbatim, <laughs> like, exactly how they tweeted it. Mm -hmm. But, yo, you did a really good job. I'm I proud of you. I did all right there. But, you know, real talk, at yeah. the end of the day, Tater's gonna tate. At the end of the day, at the end tater's of the day. gone tate. That's right. So sometimes we do have to put those messages out there. Like, listen, something happened. It really got us triggered. And we just had to put it out there like, listen, this is what happened, and it's fine. Uh, it's all good. Love you, but Tater's going to take. I, I just like, I actually like people when they hate on me, because then I can talk to them and say, give me real constructive criticism, and I can be better. Yeah, and Brody. continue being yeah, better than okay. you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because you're real good with constructive criticism. <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay. Our last real fun thought comes from Overwatch personality Malik Forte, who quotes Slasher's tweet highlighting a bunch of hate tweets from people seeing Overwatch on their TVs. Malik says, am I still supposed to get offended by people calling me a nerd? I mean, it is true. Just like me being way cooler than these types of folks. Yep. I mean, that's, that's on point. You know that's you know full what? on point. What I will say is some of those, though, you make sure if you're going to like dig into context. And, and if people are starting to like hate on this stuff, please don't be mean to them. You're going to give us a really bad name. I've seen a lot of people just go and like hate on people yeah. instantly. Whereas I've gone to some of those, those tweets, because um, yeah. I've been following all that, too. Yeah. And I went to some guy's account, and he was actually replying to people saying, like, uh, people are like, oh, it's just like you watching sports or whatever. And he's like, you know what? I never thought of it that way. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. It's not for me, but I guess I can see it. Yeah. So some people do turn around if you're nice. Don't be mean no, to no, those people, it's please. It's true. 100. We have to make sure that we yes, chill. Yes, but okay. So I'll go and search some of these people as well. And I did oh, that. Oh, some are dicks. Some like full like if you just go through their timeline and see the things they tweet, you're like, uh, you know what? It's better just not even start a conversation because they're they've already gone a certain way. Like their mind is already set in a certain place that will be difficult to lift them out of that place where mm -hmm. you can't dig them out of the hole they've already dug themselves in. So uh, you're right. I do think it's it's important to be nice and just explain. I love the whole sports analogy because it's true. Like, you love these sports. These are, these are sports that we like. And that's mm -hmm. okay. And we can all exist in this universe. It's fine. And also let people like what they like, you know? And it's true. Like, nerds are cool now. Nerds actually rule the world and will continue to rule the world at this point forward. So just, you got to get on board. You got to get on board, man, or just ignore it or change the channel. You don't have to like it, but just saying it's stupid means you're getting old and you don't understand how mm, the world works Old man yells at cloud. Let's move on because it is time to get to some crowd control. Get ready for some cool-ish. Mm. Maybe. I'm still not <laughs> sure how I'd feel about this. Dr. Pepper is a sponsor of TSM and they threw this out to the world the other day. TSM. I'm just like, yeah, I really yeah. don't. Okay, you're digging it. I just feel bad for those last two guys. Why? So, so the first guys had some sick moves, but the other guys had to deal with just like a... Tossing it. Yeah, yeah. That was it, just... 
Well, maybe they don't what have What kind of dance move is that? Yo, I feel bad for them. Listen, They're Brody. probably told to do that. Maybe they do have sick moves, and they're stuck with that. Come Not on, everyone Dr. can Pepper. dance like Rick Astley. You're restricting people's creativity. Give us your best Rick Astley right now. Yeah, there, there we go. That's the one. That'll be Brody's move in the music video that we do next. Listen, I do want to do this, though. I love that Dr. Pepper is a partner for TSM. Mm -hmm. They are to they're the top-tier partner. I love that so much. Like, they're getting so much money out of this partnership. Plus, they're getting mm -hmm. sick commercials like that. Are you kidding me? That is top tier. I love once, it. I'm so jelly. I love Dr. Pepper. Once the full K-pop song come out, that's what I'm looking for. I, I would die. I need Three this Three and a half minute Dr. Pepper song. Do it. I, I watch. I'd share. I'd RT. I'd stand. I know you would. That's right. Our next photo shows us that we all deal with loss different. So me cry. So me cry. Some. Read your Are you serious? Right. Some cry. Some love. Brody, honestly, some hump. I love the uh, emergent <laughs> gameplay is so good. It's like, <laughs> they're just like, God damn it, as well. And it's just the best because it was horse on horse. Yeah. Like it was horse on horse. I didn't want to see, because as he was walking toward the horse, I'm like, oh no. Oh no. Because you promised humping, and I didn't want to see that. But it was a horse. It brings a whole, it was just, it was whole just horse new on horse meaning love. to beating a dead horse. Oh, dang it. All right, Dan, the day off, I wanted to show you a cool game a guy made for simpletons like me. It's a fighting game. <laughs> but it only uses two buttons. Little Poppy Boo. If you guys want to uh, download that and check it out, actually, you can go to uh, J Mano Clay on Reddit. His yeah. account, he's linked it there. His, his link was way too long for me to like say oh. it. So, but yeah, you can go go check his history and you can uh, see that. But it's like it reminds me of Dive Kick. Like it goes down to the roots of competitive mentality. Mm. I love mm. that. It's like it's just you versus the other person. Yeah. What are their habits? What are they going to do? Can I condition them to do certain things? And then can I break them down? And then you got the footsies in there. It's, it's true. No, I love that as well because I'm also a simple gamer. So Especially when it comes to fighting games, it's got to be simple for me to enjoy it. That's why I love King of the Hat so much as, as well. Oh, like King just, of the Hat's sick exactly, too. Exactly. Yeah. Like I just want the simple, not too many buttons. Mm -hmm. We can figure this out. It's just mono e mono. So Brody, I feel like you and I definitely we need have to, to play that this up for sure. Yo. 100. Let us know if you want to challenge us as well in chat. That's it for today. For me to remember, you can always hit us up on our socials just to say hi or send us stuff to react to. Someone type in exclamation mark right now to see all our socials, and we'll see you next time.